In nearly five decades of living in East Brunswick, Tom Lynch has seen them all. People trying to come up to his house to sell him, well, just anything and everything. And it's just a lot of times you just can't be bothered. That's why he signed up for the township's no knock registry, because he says he doesn't need someone to tell him what to buy. With the internet, you can find anything you want to buy. Of course, there are legit businesses that are permitted to sell door to door in town, but not before they get vetted and approved by the town. Once okayed, they're handed a list of homes they're not allowed to approach the no knock list. Well, I think it's a good thing because this way it keeps um, outsiders from walking around in development and like you don't know who's like canvassing houses and who's really trying to sell something. So this would eliminate all that. East Brunswick is one of many places in the Garden State that has this registry, including Jersey City and Hamilton Township. The reason it's important to vet the individuals is so that you know who's coming up to your home. East Brunswick police say the no-knock policy doesn't apply to political, religious or social groups simply asking for support. But if they ask for money, they need a permit. If you don't uh, want to be um, solicited at your homes, I would encourage you to register. And police are streamlining the way you can sign up to be on the no-knock list. Back in the old days, you had to come by the station here to sign up. Now you can just do it all online. They could enter all their information and hit submit, and that would go to the township clerk's office who maintains that list and provides it to the people who try to sign up and get permits to solicit. Police say if you're on your town's no-knock list and get a solicitor, call your police department. Lynch is hoping he won't have to. I really don't want to be bothered. If I want something, I know where I can go get it.